the mission of an oblate is to lay down his life in service for the priesthood. He assists the priest and he assists the faithful, but in his unique position. Uh, it's a more full expression of the body of Christ, where you have the priest at the head and the, the laity as the body, or well, the oblate somewhere in between there. The work of the oblates is vital in the Institute. Some even say we're the guardian angels of the priests, so we're able to do all the background work um, while the priests are able to administer the sacraments and spiritual direction. We pray with the priests to support them spiritually. We eat with the priests, we live with the priests, and all of our work is around making them do the things that only they can do and us take care of the things that also need to be done. When the Lord uh, first started asking me to give myself totally to Him, I did resist it. I resisted it for a long time, but I knew, I knew eventually that if I didn't try, if I didn't give myself as He was asking, I wouldn't be fulfilled. I realized that what I was doing wasn't fulfilling my deepest desires. It was close, but it wasn't enough. So I began to re-explore, as I had when I was younger, the idea of a vocation. And the only vocation I knew at the time was the priesthood. So I, I went to seminary. And it was good. I enjoyed it. I loved the studies. Um, but, it, but I didn't have the burning desire that a lot of my confers had to offer the sacraments. I rather loved being a brother to the guys. I loved being their support. I loved the study. I loved the prayer. And I loved, most of all, the, the idea of consecrating myself to God, being totally, totally His. And it wasn't until years of discerning later that I realized that you could do that without being a priest, and that was to be an oblate in the Institute of Christ the King. St. Louis is the house of formation for all the oblates in the American province. So any young man who's discerning as an oblate comes to St. Louis for his formation. If you do love the oblates and the Institute of Christ the King, but you don't think the Lord's calling you to that vocation, you can still share in our mission. First and foremost, we need your prayers. The discernment process for the young men, uh, it's not easy. This is their vocation possibly, and it's the rest of their life. So they really need your prayers. We especially need prayers, prayers for humility and generosity in our lives of service. The candidate program also isn't cheap, so donations are really, really appreciated. And also just being family to us, allowing us to be brothers to you and to help lead you further into the heart of the church.